Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back once again to Creations by Simone. And what day is it today, guys? It is Wednesday. That's right. We are back for another segment of Wedding Wednesday. Guys, we are almost at the end of our series, and I hope you have enjoyed rocking with me during this summer wedding series. All right, my lovelies. Well, today we're going to bring you some wedding DIY decor. We're going to do some wedding table martini glasses decor. I hope I said that right. That is a mouthful, but you're going to ask absolutely love them for your wedding table all right my lovelies as i say in every video let's do this all right guys let's go ahead and get this thing started now i have two glasses here one i got from the dollar tree and the other one i got from the goodwill and what we're going to do is we are going to paint them now all i'm going to do very simple very easy is i'm just going to take my paint here my gloss paint that I got from Walmart and we're gonna go ahead and take that paint and we're just going to squeeze it inside of the glass and once we do that we're just gonna twirl it around I don't like to spray paint my um, my glass decor um, because it comes out uneven and then you know it's just all over the place so I prefer to just go ahead and put the paint in here and it's so easy all it does is swirl around you just have to maneuver it and then when you um, don't have enough paint you just take some more you add a little more and it turns out perfect I think this is the best way if you want to paint any type of glass decor less mess less stress and it's much more prettier too all right guys so what I'm gonna do just swirling this paint around and I am getting the edges now there is an art to this I must say um, you have to let it drain all the way down and then once it gets to the very end you have to like twirl it so it doesn't spill out but once you do it a few times you'll get the hang of it very easy um, simple quick and most of all I think the end result is absolutely beautiful all right I'm trying to get these ends here what I'm doing now the whole glass is actually already done I'm just trying to swirl and get the ends and you see that was very simple quick and that is so pretty look at that look at the shine of that that's much better than painting on the outside guys all right so we have two glasses I'm gonna go ahead and do the other glass off camera okay I have my two glasses here as you can see they're a different style of martini glasses the smaller one I got at the Dollar Tree and the larger one I got at Goodwill and I think that was only about 50 cents but you can see the shine is absolutely beautiful now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our roses that we got from Michaels there's like about 15 roses in here and I love these because they're thick and they're full and what we're gonna do guys is we are going to just add them to our glass but as you can see they are a little tall and we don't want them to stick out like that we want to cut them down so they're just um, on the edge of the glass to make it look really full so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that and look at that you see that how that does so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut all our roses to that size I'm just gonna pair this up here so that way we'll go ahead and we'll get like a template and we can do that all right guys so I have that one cut I'm gonna do a few more and then I'm going to just show you how that falls into place when I put them into the martini glasses. Now you cut them according to the glass that you're going to put them into. Of course, this glass is a little um, longer, so we're not going to cut the stems as short. But that last one is not looking right, guys. I'm just going to nip that a little more and put it in there. And look at that. Isn't that cute? Now just imagine how that's going to look once we get them all in, guys. All right, my lovelies, let me go ahead and cut a few more. And we're just going to go ahead and fast forward through this. all right guys let's go ahead and go to our next one now this is a smaller glass that i got from dollar tree and basically i'm just going to do the same thing but i'm going to use a little different um flower rose that i got from hobby Lobby. now i really love these little roses i think they're really cute it was 2.99 for a bunch of them and then you got the 50 percent off so it's like maybe a dollar 50 for a bunch and i thought that was a really good deal so all i'm going to do here guys same thing we're going to go ahead and cut these 
and basically just follow the same pattern as we did on the glass before. All right, my lovies, I have my extra flowers here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut a few, and we're just going to fast forward through. Guys, these are so pretty. They turned out so nice. I really like them because they look elegant. This is something that's inexpensive, but it looks very elegant. And that's what I like to create for my bride. All right, my lovies, we're going to get ready for the final setup. I hope you are ready. Let's do this. All right, we have made it once again to the end of another awesome and beautiful creation. Here are Creations by Simone, where we create beauty one creation at a time. I hope you love these, guys. I think these are so cute. They're elegant. They're simple. They're cheap. <laughs> they're fun. And they make your table look really, really nice. Now, in today's economy, we have to do a bride right. We have to hook her up, but we don't want her to spend a lot of money. So that's why I like to bring these cute little DIYs to you and I hope that you love them and I hope that you can share them with others as well. Alright my lovies, well I want to thank you once again for stopping by the channel. We're almost at the end of our series. It is rolling around really quick. It seemed like we just started and at the end of July is the wedding day. So we are on our way guys. I want to thank you once again. If you love the video, you know what to do. Give me that big thumbs up. Also like, share, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to tell a friend about creations by simone and also you are invited to the wedding july the 23rd at 6 p.m eastern the i do crew is gonna bring it for you all right my lovies until next wednesday bye